I stole the hammer of Thor. Stole the hammer of Thor. They think they're in control, but I stole the hammer of Thor. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another interview here with us at ESC Norway. Today, we are joined by Uda Kundrosen. Welcome. <laughs> Thank Welcome. you. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you. Um, 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 today, I, got, I had the first um, stage uh, test. And so a rehearsal, yeah. So I was a little bit nervous. Uh, but now I feel... I feel better than yesterday and I think I'm ready to really give my all on Saturday. Mm. <laughs> That's good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> but that, could you please start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Yes, I'm uh, 25 years old. I'm from uh, Fredrikstad and I work from Oslo. Um, I have been uh, interested in music my whole life and started singing in the choir when I was around six years old. Uh, I was really shy and it took me about three years before I tried to sing in front of my choir as mm. yeah, to sing solo. Um, so I have been working on that for many years. Um, I was in the Norwegian Idol when I was 16 years old. I really wanted to become an artist and uh, I thought I was ready <laughs> when I was 16 but um, I couldn't even say my name in front of the camera because I was so shy <laughs> and um, so I just thought no no I have to wait this um, I have to be more confident and just wait a few years mm. and so I waited till I was 19 and I was in The Voice um and then i thought i was ready <laughs> um but now when i look back i i wasn't ready um at all because i i didn't even know what i wanted and who i was as an artist mm. i didn't know i didn't have any plans uh, for my future and yeah so i i i started to uh, studying a nurse and just took a break from the music. Uh, I started working as a nurse. Um, I started working with the cancer patients and I was working with them for two years uh, when I found out that uh, I had to do something else with my life because I was seeing so much illness and it was just, it wasn't good for me to see all of this. and. Mm -hmm then i thought i have i have one life and i have to do whatever i can to make it mm. the best i can do so i started uh, to just work with my music again and i came back to idol <laughs> and got the got to the final and um, i have been working with music since then so um now I'm finally in the Eurovision. Oh no, you're not Eurovision yet, but in <laughs> Melody <laughs> Grand Prix. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hopefully, I can get Eurovision. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're in NGP this year with the song "Hammer of Thor." Could you tell us yes. a bit about your song, please? Yes, uh, the song is inspired by Nordic mythology, and it's about a girl who steals the hammer of Thor, obviously. <laughs> so this is the real girl power. And the song is just, it's written for MGP and it's just a fairy tale, a story uh, about that girl who steals the hammer. And I think it is um, when we wrote it, uh, the song was made for MGP and was made for TV. I think it needs a big scene show to just reach its, reach its uh, potential. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think, um, I think maybe this song is something that not everyone has heard before, I think. <gasps> I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> and how does it feel to be a part of this year's Melody Grand Prix? Oh, it feels uh, so good. Uh, it has been a dream since I was 
a little girl since I could walk and sing and talk. So um, finally I'm here and I'm so ready to give everything I can. And it just feels amazing. I can't, I can't actually believe it that I'm, that I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when you're finally on that stage on Saturday, what are you looking forward to the most? Uh, I'm just looking forward to finally seeing my song uh, with, with the staging show and all the lights and everything we have planned for it. And just um, yeah, to sing my just sing my song and finally believing my dream. Seeing <laughs> mm. it all come together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we are so excited for uh, excited for you, and <laughs> and I know that a lot of fans is that too. Uh, and do you have a message to all the Eurasian fans out there? Yes, uh, I would like to say thank you so much for listening to my song and thank you so much for the feedback. I'm, I really love reading all your messages and I really hope I make you proud on Saturday and that I can reach the finals. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> thank you so much, Olda, for taking the time to talk with us today. It's been a pleasure and we wish you the very best of luck on Saturday. Thank that. you so much. <laughs> <laughs>